Let's start with Drake and Ye. It's, the, big, it's the biggest it's the big thing show. smoking. It is. Okay. Biggest thing moving out there. People stayed awake. I did. I was one of them. So y'all y'all stayed up. Y'all saw this. Ish. No? Who? I fell asleep in the middle of the Drake shit. Okay. Well, then you saw a majority of it. Drake shit was pretty short, first of all, so. Yeah, I fell asleep. In what the happened? Drake we don't care about Ish's your sleep schedule. Uh, we care about what it happened. Start, it what start, happened? It, it started late. Started we'll do a late. quick recap. It started late. I think it was supposed to start at 11 hour time, and then I think it started at 12, 31 o'clock. All right. Uh, the choir came out, and in my opinion, might have been there a little bit too long, but that's an argument for a different day. Uh, okay. Did maybe 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Then okay. Ye came out and did his set. Then Drake came out and did a short set, and then what? Ye came back. They walked out together. They did walk out together. They walked out and together. Drake went and walk, walked off Correct. and let Ye do his set, but yeah. Beautiful, like beautiful set. It was kind of uh, reminiscent <clears throat> of the Donda shows. Smoke kind of looked like the moon or something. I don't know what was going on there. The uh, Coliseum looked great with the choirs. That shit was dope with the, uh, arches in the background and the smoke and the lights. The set was amazing. Yeah. Like the set, the the, the, the optics, it was dope to me. Can I ask y'all a question? Sure. Please. Have y'all ever been to a Kanye West show? Yes. Ever? Yes. yes. And this is dope. Uh, the set, I'm saying. I'm, I'm The set. They're well, it's in, not or, comparison to uh, when you had the flying stage and all that shit. They're that in the Coliseum. Okay. Okay. They're in the Coliseum. Okay. They they made it look like a, like a Roman Coliseum esque type of vibe. Um, okay. It was dope. I like yeah. that part. Of it. I like all that. right, come on with the quick quick recap. So that was a, we, so that we was can that, hate that a little bit. That was enough of a recap. Let's well, get well, it. No, no, that wasn't enough. No, no, no. Hold on. No, no. Because you're missing. Like, if we giving a timeline, my timeline go a little different. Oh, tell us. First, the merch. Pre order dropped. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, let's get, throw it to ice now. Enough yeah, of you, because that, sure. that's what happened to me. I wanted to go right. right to the hate. We saw, well, no, no, no. There, there's hate in there. Trust oh, me. Okay. There's a lot of hate. So, like you said, it was supposed to start at uh, 8 Pacific, 11 Eastern. Yeah. Right before that, they put the pre order link up for the merch. Uh huh. Plain sky blue hoodie says free Hoover, $200. Plain pair of mom jeans looked like it was ironed. Like just, very, very, very plain shit. Done by Balenciaga, though. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Done by Balenciaga. Okay. So I'm already like, this is a... Uh, I feel like you're playing in my face. Mm. That was my takeaway from that part. From them dropping merch. Well, we can even go back even further. Your takeaway from, when, from them dropping merch before the show is... Before the, shirt, before the show, the original, original graphic that went out, the flyer, whatever you want to call it... Uh-huh. Everything looked like my 12-year-old cousin did it. Which is the new look. That is the look. That's the look, though. That's the new look. That's he, the new end look. I'm not even meaning this. I'm talking about the picture of his face. With like, the sky in the background or whatever it was. That original thing that went out when it was announced. Right, yeah. just, everything just looks bad. Right, this so looks cheap. But this that looks, is the style That is right the new now. style. Okay, well, I'm the old. Style. Then. Look I'm at the old. clothes they Shout out to old. Virgil because he kind of... Uh, with the plain Shout out to Virgil shit. and Kanye. It's Kanye true. That's, that's a Kanye. Thing. Kanye okay. is a minimalist type of guy. Yeah, he, yeah. He or whatever he does is the new style mm-hmm. and fashion. Right. I, I'm still with him so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm even not, that's different to me. And you should drop your merch before your show. Yeah, I'm not. Even though I understand your critique of it, I understand what they did there. And I'm you not, should. O- and you should overcharge this Balenciaga. Do what you want. I'm not mad. Okay. We're, we're catering to the people that can afford this. I'm not mad yet. I mean, but to be honest, a Balenciaga hoodie for two hundred dollars is a gift. It's cheap. It's a gift. Well, we know you have a Balenciaga hoodie on right now. <laughs> Continue, Ice. Um. So yeah, show starts late, which is if you know Yay, it's expected. And a rap show in general is going to be late. Mm-hmm. But if you know Yay, it's expected to start later Facts. than normal. Cool. Can you stop what? right there? That was yeah. whack to me. Can you stop right there? Sure. And I'll toss it to you. I'm just going to in, in, mm-hmm. interject here and there. Without having seen too much of this, I did catch up. My first question and little hum head scratcher moment was Amazon's involvement mm-hmm. with Kanye coming off of those phenomenal Apple shows and with Drake's relationship or previous relationship with Apple. I think the this uh, was the first time. I think that was an important part. The second part of what you said, yeah. Drake's previous, previous relationship with Apple, and we don't know where that relationship stands today. But seeing Amazon Music slash Twitch throw themselves in the hip hop moment, that was telling to me. You're absolutely right. You can continue. That that's correct. Um, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, coming off of Drake's. Lack of relationship, I guess. I don't know. 
He took the show and left Apple. Mm-hmm. And to see Amazon make a push like this, that's pretty major. Yeah. But again, um, I was pissed. Time. I hated that. The way it was, exp- the way it happened, though. It was tacky. Like, I had this shit on the screen. And out of nowhere, was the time at the bottom where it said starts at 8 p.m. East, uh, Pacific. Yeah. Okay, Somebody we went it. in and just switched it to say 9 p.m. All right, it started late. Right, yeah, it keep it pushing, it buddy. It is okay? It is. Keep it pushing. Well, you, I'm talking all the shit I hate. So, yeah, I'm going <laughs> yeah, over we, it. The Super Bowl show hate. started late. Okay. Yeah, but we got real hate to get to with this. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And love. Just a little bit. Some dashes of love. Well, first thing is, what does any of this have to do with Larry Hoover? That was my hate. That was going to be my at the end uh my, the last bit of I was going to ask. They, they didn't say his name once, except for Fam, have y'all seen Larry a benefit Hoover. concert for something before? They said Larry yes. Hoover Jr., which shout out to him, but like he they, was didn't, present. They, they didn't explain or shout out. Have or, you seen a benefit concert yes, for anything a, before? A million of them. Joe, have you seen a benefit concert? You say yes. Ish, have I'm, you? Cool. They kind of explain what we here for. Yeah, at, at some point throughout the show, throughout it's the show, hard, usually it's a hard, they remind you point. this is what we're here for. At least the intro or outro, a video, or something, something, something. This. Maybe the awareness of the two biggest hip hop artists in the world getting on the same stage saying "Free Larry Hoover." They didn't say. It they didn't stage. say that. They well, didn't. they did. I hate to be this guy, but I'm just gonna throw shit at the wall, knowing absolutely nothing. Maybe the bag is going to free Larry Hoover. That's what I'm I was sure. about. I was gonna say, have anybody heard like the the proceeds made from the show are going to his legal defense fund or something associated? Yeah, we we with haven't heard jail. that, but no, they, the, they did announce it's going to. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's specifically or only his fund, but uh, incarcerated, wrongly incarcerated gotcha. people. Sounds in great. So, can I, can I ask one question. Kanye just told y'all he's worth how much money? Nine billion dollars. Drake is worth roughly how, like these niggas didn't have to do that. Stop for, it! For, come on, dogs. I'm not gonna say ice, that either. But ice, uh, ice, ice, we don't be saying. nitpicker, guy. Yeah. I'm not being nitpicker, but I don't make me point out the obvious. Larry Hoover is Jay Prince's longtime friend. Yes. 30, 40 years. What else do I need to say about and this? And also, there may, be, there, there may be business or tax implications of why they can't just personally that donate. Too. And, and they both might have deals where, like, you don't know yeah. what conflicts, what, like, I want us to get to our, tr- we got real All right, fuck it, yeah. fuck it. Off of that, Kanye comes out, does his set. Now, how long he, is his set? 10, 10 songs, maybe, something like that? Actually, I, I, I have the set list. Right I have here. the set list as well. It was longer than I think his first set was seventeen, if I'm not mistaken. Like Twenty minutes. Now he's ago. doing. He did joints. He did. Yes, joints. he did the, sixteen songs. He, he came he out. Did, he did great hits. He did the smash. Seventeen. He started with praise God. Oh yeah, I guess. But that he didn't really actually perform. Well, you're but, gonna have to praise God when I get to playing these hits. He, yeah. 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 He he did the smashes. I don't and, know that he and he went through a time. And like you gonna think Jesus is walking when I get to playing yeah, these? Yeah. Hits. I love coming out to Jesus walks. I do feel like he. I feel like he wanted to do more Donda stuff personally. You know what I'm saying? Like it felt like if you ever been to like a corporate event where like they bring a famous person out and they do the song, the hit songs and just kind of, mm-hmm. it felt yeah, like that. Like they might make you do the pump it ups and the focus. Exactly. And you might want to do your new shit. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Ice. That's I'm, how it felt to me, but I wasn't mad at it because they're hit songs. Like you're hit. our well, timeline. I'm, 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 I was all for this. I love that he did those records and I give him props because he was doing two and three verses of these songs. He yeah. was. Records that he ain't performed in forever. And he forgot some words. He forgot a bunch like of his lyrics. He, he didn't forget lyrics. What he was doing was trying not to curse. No, he did both. And in doing that, he, he was switching he, words up and it was fucking him up. He did both. He was... Yeah, we just going to nitpick all the stuff about okay. this that don't matter. Please continue with this timeline. Well, it does kind of matter to me. Then, if, he's yeah, that if you're matter. forgetting Absolutely. your lyrics in the biggest show of the year. Absolutely. Um, he did Drake's Find Your Love. Kanye did it. Is this the biggest show of the year? Well, it would have to be Kanye's yeah, namesake yes. alone. Yes, got this it. is the biggest show. Got it. Got it. Got yes. it. And but, um, I, I, again, that's a nitpick. It would shit, have but to the be. sound, like Mike Dean was playing keys, which is dope and adding shit, but it was literally louder than the music and the vocals yeah. for the entire set. And it was just like, dog. You said what now? Mike Dean was like adding, <laughs> playing the bass lines live and adding right. synth parts, and it was like a lot of synth. When I, I say like, it's louder, it was like you couldn't hear the words, you couldn't hear the beat, you, you could just hear the music, hear, you just heard the synth, the synthesizer. He's right, and I'm not even a. In music engineer guy, but I was like, God damn, what the fuck are y'all doing? But anyway, I did like that he performed one of Drake's records. I did see prior to this, there was a, a rehearsal video of Drake performing 24. Mm. So I said, okay, I, I, I thought boy they were going to Boy something. was sounding good too. 
Yeah. He was sounding nice on that 24. 24 hours. I, was, I said, okay, maybe that's what, you know, they're going to perform together, do each mm. other's, whatever. Um, then Drake comes out. No. And he skipped it. They didn't, well, they didn't say you All right, will. next time I'm going to watch this. <laughs> so my They didn't say you time. will. Like, that was the opportunity for me. There say were you will of opportun- and, and find your love were the opportunity for, like, both of them to be on the stage At performing the a time, classic. Performing fun. Like, a that great, was that, that's what the right. biggest disappointment was for me. That's is that, like, you could have had a moment, moment, a moment, moment, moment. I, I agree. The Drake freestyle over Say You Will is classic as the original song is, and they were both right there. You're a nut. Why? Nigga up there getting his head blown off, and you want him to play his mixtape freestyle. He's not getting his head blown off. He didn't even, he, he mailed this in. Yeah, he did. It was a Kanye let, show. I let, yeah, I let, I'm not going to. I ain't going to come up here and try to. We I, not I got a whole other take on all of that, which it's, I'll save till even after we finish it's this. Not a this versus. ties into the Grammys to me. Yeah, it's not a versus either. What Drake is doing is tying into the Grammys. I'm right. sitting back and letting you I'm coast. Let, I'm going to let you rock. And he let him rock. I took my foot off the gas. I could have Drake could have put his foot in Kanye ass at any point with his records. Yeah. He didn't he didn't even attempt to. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say this. I think that it was a Kanye West show. I'm a feature on a Kanye West show. It's not a versus, so I'm not gonna get up here and try to go song for song with you. I'm gonna get up here. He said, Thank Kanye West for having me, blah blah. It's Kanye's show. It's not our show, it's Kanye's show. So I'm gonna let you rock. I'm not gonna try to sit up here and compete with you. So like you just said, yo, he putting his foot in his ass. It wasn't that. It was like, I'm not even trying to rock with you. I'm not co- trying to compete. So I think... Do y'all for- understand that that's a very savvy music take that y'all are giving right now? What do you mean? About being able to watch this and recognize when Drake is coasting and when he isn't. Do y'all know that that's a savvy take that you guys have? I think yeah. everybody could have realized that. Um, he ain't play the hits. You're, you're wrong in that. I'm telling you, as someone that didn't watch it in real time, I woke up to a mass of why the fuck did Drake get his head blown off? Now we have the answer to the verses that we wanted. It didn't. I hope that was not an answer. I'm t- I, I hope know nobody said that. that. I'm, Some people I'm not, just I'm just telling y'all though, what's yo. out there. Even you. by him taking his foot off the gas and coasting and letting it be. You're still going to have to face some of the backlash that comes from this is our first time seeing y'all two on a stage together and God knows how long. Mm-hmm. Your name is on the bill. Mm-hmm. This is the biggest show yeah, of the year. Yeah, you wasn't a surprise guest. Yeah. It's only we y'all two here. that could do this. Something comes with that. I'm not mm-hmm. saying it's going to affect him or impact it at all, mm-hmm. but something does come with that. I, th- I think he purposely <laughs> let Kanye... Have it's, his night. It's not a think in it. That's what yeah. happened. He played. This was Kanye going through yes. his discography and as he should. And Drake playing CLB. Yeah, with a couple of Lucy's but, yeah. sprinkled in. I recognize it to be Drake stepping to the side yeah. as he has been this entire CLB process with they, everything. They put the camera on him. He was on the sidelines cheering, yay, singing the yep. song, reciting the shit, jumping up and down like. It almost looked genuinely happy for the dude on the stage. Yeah, he see, and at one point he said he was happy to be there, yeah, having this moment with his idol. Yeah, Yeah. he said one of my idols. Blah blah. So it's like, yo, I'm not gonna try to upstage you, even if I could. I'm not gonna do it. This is your night. Sorry, I don't believe anything Drake says. It don't matter. I I don't. Even if it's not true, Drake is probably the most seasoned, polished, most media trained, most been in front of a camera since seven. Most, I'm really an actor. Most, I can host the ESPYs. I can tell you something and get you to believe it. Yes, I'm certain that he said all that. Mm-hmm. I bet they hate each other still. It's possible. So what? So no, I know I'm with you. I'm just talking about. Okay. They I, like, like I like that professionalism. I, yeah, like I, will say, I, like I will say when, he, some when, point, when Drake came too. out, even though he didn't play the slaps, like his actual performance as far as how he sounded and cool. the way that he talked to the crowd and stuff was much more He's polished. a showman. These yeah. guys and, are, and not these only, are two of those dudes, yo. Yeah, well, these are two of the, them. The most legendary artists, certainly, of this generation. I can't hate you. I can still hate you, but this is at this point, if I'm going to go with what y'all saying, this is bigger than us. Yeah, sure. And that's kind of what they've been us. beating. That's true. That's Much the point that us. they've been beating. This is bigger than us. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I can still hate you. I but you know what? We got a common goal. We got to work together towards it. Not mm-hmm. just that. I'm trying to put on a decent show. Again, I, it's not a versus. If right. we're going to do a versus, I'm going to get paid for it. I didn't want a versus. I didn't want that either. I didn't want a versus. I think that the fans, some of the people are antagonistic, and they want it, They so accustomed to see us be against each other mm-hmm. that they're like, yo, this motherfucker got his head blown off. 
That being said, though, and I think that if Kanye comes out and does his greatest hits, I would have liked to at least see a couple more Drake I greatest hits. In there. Dog, not as, even on no versus shit. As just, a music fan, so would I. Or, or I would rather see Kanye do Donda shit and more current shit, and he does CLB, and it's like this, these are our two albums. Like, and that's why this is a weird mismatch. Real quick, so we don't make the same mistake that we accuse them of making. I just want to pause. So we can bring some awareness to what this was actually about and toss to my man, lawyers for workers. This is my man. Hold up. Talk about the calls to free Larry Hoover and what this whole situation is about. What you have to understand is that Larry Hoover is sitting in a federal supermax penitentiary because he was sentenced to life in prison for selling crack. Now, he also has a separate state case that we're going to talk about. But first, no, you have to free Larry Hoover on his federal drug dealing charges, okay? Larry Hoover has spent 25 years in a federal supermax facility, which means that for 25 years he has spent between 20 to 24 hours of every day sitting in a room completely by himself with no other human contact, no activity, no ability to leave that small cells like seven foot by 12 foot My man for 20 to 24 hours a day for the past 25 years for selling drugs. Or no? As a citizen of the United States, no. I am appalled and I am ashamed bad. that my government would sentence a drug dealer to that type of punishment. It's outrageous. You have to let Larry Hoover out of Supermax. Second, a life sentence for selling crack. Look, Larry Hoover was selling a lot of crack. According to the pre-sentence report. A lot of crack. Yeah. A lot. Oh, wait. His criminal enterprise was making $100 million a year selling crack, moving several kilos a day. Fine. Okay. Oh, now That's not life in prison. Look, okay. As far as I'm... Let me not act like an old guy. I can pause it. Um, um, yeah, because I, I got some... Thank, you, I, I got thank you for doing that, first of all, because I was I like even trying to Google information on the Larry Hoover case, and most of the time it went right to, oh, Drake and Kanye both released albums. And it's like, exactly. I would like to know more about the case he was the, the case, man. and the, the reason why and, we're having a yeah. benefit show. Mm-hmm. He was the man I, in Chicago in the 70s. I know. He I'm was familiar the, with he Larry was, Hoover. He was the leader of the gangster disciples. I'm aware of all of that, but I needed to know what this part. That part. Okay, because I Googled as well, and I was... I'm trying to understand what because there's a difference here. He's I'm reading. Finished. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Let him finish then because he's not finished. It's more than just no that. drug dealer, no matter how much drugs they're selling, gets life in prison, okay? Because drugs on the street are as big a problem because of the broken fucking system we live in as it is Loving because of drug curse. dealers who used to go hey, selling. To it. Life in prison for <laughs> drugs? Absolutely not. Supermax, where you spend 20 or 24 hours alone? Absolutely not. Donald Trump. Donald Trump passed a law that said, you know what? Some of the sentences that we gave to crack offenders make no sense. It's crazy. So Donald Trump passed the First Step Act, which allows judges and prosecutors to review previous sentences issued to crack dealers and give new sentences out where appropriate. This is a case where it's appropriate <laughs> to give him a new sentence. He should not only be let out of Supermax, he should be resentenced to time served on the federal narcotics conspiracy charge because he has paid his debt to society. Thank you Interestingly, for that. when this argument was made to a judge by Hoover's lawyers about a year ago, the judge seemed willing and understanding of it, and, and he definitely was ready to let Larry Hoover out. However, the judge expressed hesitation because Mr. Hoover had not recanted his membership in the gang. He had not See, expressed all- Pretty useful information. I wish they would have done this caused by the drug before the show. Or so, you know and the judge mean? basically suggested, mm-hmm. that, you know what, if you and do ICE that, he goes on to say that, that even if exonerated on this charge, he has a murder charge that that he has to face in somewhere else. But let him go so he can face it. <laughs> right. Now, I'm not saying that Larry Hoover should get out on that, but what I do know is this. All right, we get the point. All right, uh, we got it. Because because what I read here it says in 1997. He was convicted of murder, conspiracy, extortion, money laundering, and other federal charges. He's only speaking about drugs. So that's where I, he, my difference is. It took it, too it, long. But okay. he does go on to say that exonerate him on this crack charge so he can be free to fight his murder charge. Well, these charges are federal tra- Like, I'm just confused. He, can, a fight, lot. he or, can fight it. Not just that. Not charge- free as in free outside. I'm saying. I'm not saying don't free him or any. I don't know mm-hmm. enough. Or if he got convicted in 97, I don't know. The- I don't know, but they could potentially be running his charges concurrent with the charges from before. So he could have already did 23 years or t- well, actually more than that. Mm. 20, 40. My, my, num- my number. Listen, my I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, it don't matter. Free, free to, people, anybody incarcerated for drug charges. No, so yeah, opinion. I, I want to speak on this. So when he talking about that, super, at least get him out of supermax. Situation. My man was in that supermax jail, mm-hmm. bro. They bring the shower to you. You don't go to the shower. They literally roll a shower. You step into the thing with the gates on it, and you take a shower. They bring it to you. It's days that you don't see nobody. They rotate the guard so you can't even build a rapport. 
mm. with the guards. Right. So if I see you every day, I'm like, what up, Park? How you? you? They don't want, because they feel like you're so influential that you can manipulate the guards to start doing your bidding. Mm-hmm. So they don't even want you to get, you know, associated or familiar with the guards. Mm-hmm. They feel as if, and this is one of the things, I don't want to serious us out, but. You did, but we're here. I know. Yeah. I'm, t- no, I'm just here. talking this on is, his thing. It's awesome. important. This is but awesome. They feel like if they let him go, with Chicago being how it is, he's going to go back now and pick right back up where he left off. Chicago's a mess. So it benefits some people to keep it a mess. They feel like if they let him out and he goes back home, he'll get Chicago right. I know, but their thinking should change. I agree. On that. Y'all have had however many years of seeing what it looks like with him gone. You should try it with him back. But it might benefit niggas to keep you like that. Yeah, it might benefit the hood if you let him back. I know. They, they don't want to benefit the hood. They want to benefit the, 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 the real estate the niggas. They want to benefit all the other people. They I want know. you niggas to keep, they want to keep cycling you into the prison system. I no, no one should be in jail for life or anything approaching life or long term sentences. And when you mentioned drug the, sales, personal opinion, what's the doc about Purdue? About Purdue? Dope, Dope sick. sick. Dope sick. Oh, that's what angers me because I got friends that's doing life for drugs, right? Personal mm-hmm. friends that's doing life for drugs. So you'll lock a black person up for selling drugs. But the Purdue niggas, y'all made a doc about it, uh-huh. clearly showing all of the wrong shit that they did, which means y'all not oblivious to it and not near motherfucker did a day in jail. That's disgusting. Agreed. I agree. I'm with you. 100%. Okay, so y'all think the the mass opinion out there is that Drake took took his foot off the gas, and it don't really matter that he didn't get into his greatest hits bag at all. That's my. I feel like I don't he, think he was the there. Masses. He was there in a support role, yes. and yes. he bodied the support role. Yes, yes, he did. Yeah. I feel that. Yes, I know y'all feel that, but mm-hmm. that's what y'all are saying. You think the consensus is? I don't no, no, no. The consensus is, is the opposite. I think the consensus okay. are going to be like, Yo, Kanye beat him. He couldn't fuck with him. Yeah, I think they because everybody's been wanting to see these two have some form of a head to head. Society lives Period. off of drama and beef, right? Especially and, rap. Like it's listen, a headline. It's, it's drama even more and beef so with is us. a headline. Yeah, you, you right. gotta you, you gotta have. That's true. If somebody's at the top, they gotta have a, a counterpart. Yeah. So yes. I think that the drama and the beef is what niggas was looking for, so that they could comment on who did better, who did this, who did right. that, and I think that Drake maturely took the supporting role in this particular mm-hmm. instance. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he went up. He ain't play hardly none of the slaps. Only God's play was the only, like, real. Well, he ain't nah, play none of that. Sexy. because of that too record. Sexy, well, yeah. But too sexy is That's, new. See, yeah. even that, he played records off of his new yeah. album. He did. And Lucy's that came out before the new album. He did the future joint, too, the um, weekend, uh, working on the weekend. He, he ain't played the slaps. Life is good. That's a Lucy that yeah, came out before the album. Yeah, none of those are slaps. That's he not a slap. They, they are slaps. They're all slaps. That's not the slap. You know that ain't a slap. He ain't going his Drake back. God's play is a super slap. That's that's one of his biggest songs Which makes sense for. Okay, the so where we are, no doubt, no so doubt, where we are, yeah. no doubt. So that's what I think. I think he came there in the total. Uh, he played all Lucy's, role. man. Lucy's and and CLB. Yo, Kanye really, really has swayed my mind on the stupid ass boots. They look good on him. They do. I like them. I like that new boot that everybody says is stupid. The square that one? seems to be sold out everywhere. I know. No, they are. Y'all always say something is stupid. I don't get it, and then y'all make it hot. I like that boot. Well, that's because these niggas are followers. Everybody follows. That boot is, is hard. He be looking hard in these little stupid outfits, man. The guy's good. 